Hello, my name is Chris Rabelais and I'm the co-founder of All Sports Market and this video is just a brief explanation of bonus margin, what it is and why you should care about it. Uh, first, a couple of basics about the market. There are two completely separate markets running right now. One that we call the learning market which consists of uh, free play dollars, um, you know, fake money dollars. Uh, that's b being used to build the educational uh, curriculum and platform. And then there's the one we call the pilot market, which is to uh, showcase what the market runs, and uh, how it runs, get the bugs out, work through the regulation, and so forth, using how we've described as uh, a bonus margin, which is loaned money. Uh, we call it the loaned money market, uh, to basically get to a different sample of data from the uh, free play money and to give a platform to work through the kinks as I said and to get to regulation so in that process um, there was a period of time early on that we took uh, direct funding up to to a limit of twenty five hundred dollars a year when we first turned it on that's been suspended uh, from early last year and we, we've not allowed any direct contributions and then there's the um, there's a, a a part of the accounting system called bonus margin so to clarify what that's about uh, and what you can use it for, why you should care about it, and so forth, that's the purpose of this. So uh, with bonus margin, it, uh, it, it acts as an uh, increase in your buying power. Uh, you know, so if you're giving, say, $1,000 in bonus margin, you can use that to go out into the market and to purchase sports shares. So uh, it behaves as if uh, it were loaned to you. So it will show up in your uh, account value. You know, you're, you're basically buying shares with loan money. And then uh, you can trade them and you'll collect dividends and all of that uh, on it. And your account will reflect that. So it will also reflect the balance of your bonus margin. So the difference between your account value summary. Okay, so there's two component parts of your account value. There's the uh, sports shares portion and then there's the cash portion. So... Um, what we're doing is we, we're, we're continuing to run this model and from time to time we offer promotions that allow you to gain additional bonus margin uh, in order to just get a feel for the marketplace. But not just to get a feel for it, you're also giving us valuable information uh, in terms of uh, how, the, how trading looks when you consider the funds are real. Okay, That's really the psychology that we're after there. But there's no downside risk. Okay, So let me be clear about this. No matter what your bonus margin amount is in your account, you're never going to have to write a check for that or anything like that. That's not a liability that's real. So what's going to happen is uh, when we get, I mean, the whole uh, thrust of this entire mission is to, to achieve the third uh, engine, okay, to turn on the third engine, uh, which is to, to light up the actual regulated and or exempt marketplace. So there's three steps. There's the learning market, step one, step, well, they're running concurrently, but there's a learning market, which will stay on and will continue to use as a platform for uh, public free education, financial education. There's the pilot market, which is the uh, current market. It has, presently, it has the uh, four major leagues uh, on it, okay? The, the, the uh, free side of the market has the four major leagues plus the two college sides, the football and basketball. Football and basketball are not on the pilot market. So uh, with the sports uh, looking to start up soon, although I don't think that's going to come off right and it's going to fail, aside from that, uh, it's something they're eventually going to start back up. Uh, when all that happens, uh, then the market activity will go back to totally normal. Right now, obviously, with no games, there's no dividend payments on the game wins. There are still the quarterly payments. And the market is still very active as of right now, as of, uh, you know, my writing this, this is July 19th, 2020. We've had a half million uh, share a day yesterday was traded. So um, the market is very active, even though there are no sports being played. So anyway, back to why I care about bonus margin. So you get a feel for it. You help us uh, build the data set uh, because we're collecting all this data in the background that we can show uh, future interested parties. Uh, potential investors, regulators, etc. You're doing that, uh, but beyond that, you know, you get a feel for the trading. You feel what it's like to have a stake, and you don't have to worry about paying it back. So it's, it's a pretty much no uh, no no lose situation. So um, 
uh, again, from time to time, there are promotions and ways of adding to bonus margin. If, if, uh, if that's interesting to you, you're going to get emails from time to time where you can do that. And then finally, uh, the long-term idea here is that once the third engine is started up, which is the regulated or exempt market, the final goal, the step three, what we've been after all, all, all these years, then we will find we will take the the values of those accounts. Okay, when I say value, this is the pilot market only, the sum of your sport shares plus uh, the cash balance minus the bonus margin. So you you sum up the whole account value, cash and sport shares, subtract the bonus margin, and that's the starting point for uh, conversion into the new market. Now I don't know what the the multiples are going to look like but i can tell you there's going to be a divider a very large divider of that balance uh i don't know what it is i mean it's going to depend a lot on how much activity we have on the the uh, uh new uh, exempt and regulated market the final product because what what we want to do is start that up and then because of the volume that's taking place over here we collapse down so so let's say as an example, uh, let me just use an example here. Uh, you have $100 in sports shares and you have $100 in cash in your account. Okay, so your total account value is $200. So, uh, and you have $100 in bonus margin. So your starting point for calculation to, to convert is going to be 100 cash, 100 sports shares, minus 100 bonus margin. So it's 100, right? So that is the core value of your account stripped of its uh, bonus margin. Now, if for some reason you're upside down and you have mo more bonus margin than you have sport shares, then your value is zero, okay? Uh, that's, it doesn't go, if you're, if that point of conversion, if your account value is drip, dropped below bonus margin, you're wiped out, you're basically bankrupt, you're not gonna get any conversion value. But if it's over that number, uh, if it's non-zero, then that becomes the calculation. And we're, we will explain how we arrive at the number. And that will be real money. Okay, so the conversion comes over to the third stage, the final stage, the regulated exempt market stage. And it will represent buying power in the real market. So let's say your net account value is $100. 100 sports shares plus 100 cash minus 100 bonus margin equals 100. And let's say the divider is 10. Okay, so you're going to have a real cash value of $10 to enter into the market um, when it's over here, the third stage. Whatever that is, whatever's trading over there, that's unknown at this point. That's, I mean, that's the whole point of building the order book, but that's where you land. Okay, so um, why build your account value and why first learn how to trade? Uh, obviously, you're, it's free money, no liability. Um, it will convert to some value in the future with the third stage. The only way that won't happen is if the entire enterprise collapses and we fail and then they will get nothing. Uh, that's the only condition. But getting to the final goal, it's going to be worth something in buying power in the final. So learning to trade and uh, building the sum of your account value, uh, just look at that number of total account value, less your bonus margin, and that keep growing that number and that will represent something in the final market. And the only condition that that's not going to be true is if we don't make the goal. Okay. So you've got a very dedicated group of about a dozen people that work on this every single day uh, of their lives, weekends, holidays, uh, COVID-19 included, uh, that are dedicated to that purpose and have been for the last nearly 20 years, really a solid 15 years uh, since we've had the, the model up the first time in Costa Rica. So I hope this helps explain, uh, I know there's confusion about this, and also why you should care about bonus margin and, uh, and use it to trade your account in the meantime uh, between now and the final goal uh, of all sports market, the, the fully regulated or exempt exchange, uh, world's first sports stock market. So thank you very much for your time and stay safe. And bye now.